Good morning guys. So I just finished up eating breakfast at the Smoky Mountain Diner and today I plan on taking a zero in Hot Springs, North Carolina. I know I debated if I was going to take a zero or not here, um, but I think like both mentally and physically it was time for a little bit of a break and I'm really glad that I decided to do it. So last night I spent the night at Laughing Heart Hostel, um, but tonight they were full so I moved over to the Laughing Heart Lodge. The lodge is a little bit more expensive, but I have my own private room, and it's really a pretty place. My plans for today is to show you guys around the lodge. Um, I'm going to go for a walk in Hot Springs. I need to go to the Outfitter. I'll probably go to the Dollar Store, and then I've also heard that the Information Center is pretty interesting. Besides that, I'm just going to relax, uh, catch up on YouTube videos, and probably eat lots of food. But anyways, I will go ahead and show you around the Laughing Heart Lodge. Okay, so this is my room in the lodge. Um, I have some towels. We got, um, we got some white tea bath soap, some lotion, makeup remover. Um, there's also like uh, soap and stuff in the bathrooms. And then I just got a twin bedroom. So this is one of the main sitting areas for the lodge. Um, there's nice really big windows, a fireplace, there's some really interesting books, and lots of chairs to just hang out in. Um, you also can check in in the middle. This is the other sitting area, so there's another fireplace, there's a table, just more comfortable places to sit. Uh, here's outside, we have the hostel, and then directly in the front um, is the lodge, which is absolutely beautiful. Over here is a little garden. There's places to sit and a hammock. And then this is the Laughing Heart Hostel. Um, they have laundry, a honor fridge, they have bunk rooms and semi-private rooms. And this is the dining room in the lodge where they serve breakfast every single morning. And they also have coffee all day long, which is really nice. Okay, so the AT Cross is right here. And this is how you go into Hot Springs. And the hostel is right over there, and then the lodge is just behind the hostel. I guess I'm still doing a little bit of hiking on the AT today, but I'm not going to count this as my miles. I also probably should have put on my real shoes, try not to get hurt. So once you cross the road and start walking down the sidewalk, um, the AT symbol is actually carved into the sidewalk, which is pretty cool. Um, they're carved probably every, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 feet all down the sidewalk. So no white blazes, but the symbol is carved into the sidewalk. Right below the Laughing Heart Hostel is the Appalachian Trailer Hostel. Um, and I'm not staying at this hostel, but I've heard some really good things about it, and it does look like it would be pretty nice. So this is another good option while you're in Hot Springs. I think it's so cool that the AT just goes right through the middle of town. Like, I'm walking on the AT right now. I just think that's really awesome. So over across the street is the Smoky Mountain Diner. Um, I've eaten there twice now and it's been really good both times. I think like the food is really good but I think the best thing about it is just that the people are so nice. So this is the Dollar General in Hot Springs. From what I can tell this seems to be about the only place besides the Outfitter to get a resupply. So if you want to eat something besides you know like the expensive mountain house meals um, it's probably the best place to get it. I don't think there's a grocery store or anything here, at least that I've seen so far. This is the Outfitter in Hot Springs, North Carolina, and I was really impressed by their selection of stuff for hikers. So they pretty much have everything that you could need. Um, you can get a new backpack here, you can get new shoes, a new tent, a new sleeping pad, um, pretty much just, you know, whatever you need. They also have lots of food options, so they have granola bars, mountain house meals, electrolytes, and then just a bunch of really good snacks for hiking.
of the best things about Hot Springs is that they actually have a surprising amount of restaurants for the size of the town. So if you end up hiking through here and you take a zero, like, you got plenty of options. Like I said earlier, I've eaten at the Smoky Mountain Diner twice now, but definitely gonna try something new tonight. This is the Hot Springs Welcome Center. I've heard pretty good things about this place. Um, they have like some good information on display, so I'm going to go inside and check it out. This is the Hillbilly Market, which is a small grocery store. They have a couple things that you can get in here that you can't get at the dollar store. And they also have subs and milkshakes. So I just went and got some dinner from the Hillbilly Market. Um, I got a chocolate peanut butter milkshake, which is absolutely delicious. And I also got a ham and cheese sub. So it looks really good. Um, I really enjoyed that place. and. I think it's really nice. They mainly sell like locally made things. While I was at the Outfitter today, I also picked up some items. So I got a new mega hand warmer because it's supposed to be really cold tomorrow night. I also got a new outdoor research hat. So my hat falls off while I'm sleeping and this one has a little uh, drawstring. So won't have to worry about that. I got... Um, a barbecue chicken creation, this almond butter cup, some Propel packets to replace the noon tablets that I don't really like, and I got a Mexican quinoa bowl. So I pretty much have all the food I need right now, but um, I just got a few small things. Well, anyways, guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, I'm going to eat my dinner, I'm going to go take a shower, and then I'm going to watch some Netflix. I will be back on trail tomorrow, and I will see you guys then. Bye!